Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Dunderville. I've been taking care of patients in our community for many years. In fact, the physicians of Retina Consultants have a combined 70 plus years of experience in treating disorders involving the retina. We have diagnosed you or are concerned about a condition that affects your eye. The video you are about to watch explains this and reviews the risks and benefits of treatment. Choosing to undergo any form of treatment or surgery can be a difficult decision to make. Please be assured that we will make every effort and take every precaution necessary in helping you to make the best decision possible. Despite our best intentions, however, some people may experience side effects from their medication or surgery. These cannot always be predicted or prevented. The risk of potential side effects should always be balanced with the likely greater risks of leaving your condition alone, the most significant of which is loss of vision. Our staff would be happy to discuss and answer any questions or concerns that you may have after watching the video. Thank you. Your ophthalmologist has diagnosed a macular pucker in your eye. A macular pucker, also called an epiretinal membrane, is a layer of scar tissue that grows on the surface of the macula, which is the part of your eye responsible for detailed central vision. Your ophthalmologist has recommended repairing your macular pucker with vitrectomy surgery. This surgery can help to prevent further retinal damage and may save your remaining sight. To understand how a macular pucker affects your vision, let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas, the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide-angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. The inner eye is filled with a clear, jelly-like substance called vitreous. As we age, the vitreous becomes less like jelly and more like liquid. Usually, the vitreous is only loosely attached to the retina. So as the eye moves, the vitreous moves away from the macula without causing problems. In some cases, however, as the vitreous pulls away, scar tissue may develop on the macula. Sometimes the scar tissue can warp and contract, causing the retina to wrinkle or bulge. Your ophthalmologist will repair your macular pucker with vitrectomy surgery. This procedure is done in an operating room. To perform a vitrectomy, your ophthalmologist makes tiny incisions in the sclera or wide of the eye. Using microsurgery instruments, your eye surgeon removes the wrinkled tissue on your macula as well as the vitreous gel that may be pulling on the macula. Sometimes an air or gas bubble is placed in the eye to help the retina heal or to seal any tears or holes. After the tissue is gone, the macula flattens and vision slowly improves, though it usually does not return all the way to normal. You may be told to keep your head in a certain position while the bubble helps hold the macular tissue in place. It's important to follow your ophthalmologist's instructions so your eye will heal properly. It can take up to three months for your vision to fully recover after macular pucker surgery. On average, about half of the vision lost from a macular pucker is restored, though some people have significantly more vision restored and some less. In most cases, though, surgery significantly reduces the visual distortion caused by macular pucker. As with any procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with vitrectomy surgery to repair a macular pucker. These may include bleeding, eye infection, retinal detachment, new or recurring scar tissue inside the eye, clouding or scarring of the cornea, clouding of the lens of the eye or cataract, a droopy eyelid, increased pressure in the eye called glaucoma, vision loss, and the possible need for additional treatment, including medication and surgery. Also, your eye problem could remain or get worse. You do not have to be treated for your macular pucker. 
However, if it is left untreated, a macular pucker may lead to progressive and irreversible loss of vision. Be sure to keep all appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.